Hello everybody, happy Saturday. We're gonna make uh, some stuffed chicken parmesan today and um, I'm on a breading station ready. I'm gonna get everything set up. I'll be back to let you know everything that we need to make this recipe and I'm really excited. Haven't made it in a long time, but I put a little spin on it this time just because I had some extra stuff in the fridge. I was like, I think this would work out with my chicken parmesan. So I'll be back with you just here in a few seconds with everything ready, let you know what we need. We'll get started cooking. All right guys, first thing you're gonna do you're going to get a large stock pot full of water. You're just going to start that to boil. Um, I'm going to salt that water generously. And I'm going to get my oven preheated to 375 degrees. And um, I'm going to tell you right now the list of things that we, you're going to need to make this dish. Um, you're going to need, of course, some olive oil and some grated Parmesan cheese, um, some salt, pepper, the basics, some Italian breadcrumbs, some flour, eggs, mozzarella cheese, of course, um, I'm going to use some Canadian bacon. I was on my pizza kick um, a few weeks ago, and I have some left, and I want to go ahead and use that. So I'm going to throw this in a little special something. Um, I'm using fettuccine noodles for my pasta. Some people do parmesan, uh, chicken parmesan with pasta. Some people just like it on a plate. Either way, I'm going to throw in some garlic toast at the end, and we'll have a meal. So um, I'm going to get all my breading station, my eggs with a splash of milk. My, I'm going to season up my Italian breadcrumbs with some garlic powder and some onion powder and some Italian seasoning. I'm going to season my flour with a, a group of the same. We want to layer every dish. We want to flavor, I mean season every layer of this dish so that you have a very flavorful chicken parmesan at the end. Um, you want to put, add salt and pepper to your eggs, splash of milk. Get those mixed up really well. You don't want to see any of the egg whites grouped up in your, in your breading station. Like, you know, make sure you break them down really well. Mix them all together. I'm sure you got that handled. Um, I'm going to add some fresh garlic. I'm not gonna lie and play like I'm gonna make some fancy tomato sauce, which I can do, but I just choose not to today. So I'm just gonna take some regular roll, ragu traditional. I'm gonna throw in some fresh ingredients, some fresh parsley, some uh, diced up garlic. Just kind of jazz it up a little bit, make it a little more flavorful and a lot more fun. You know, get to do some little extra something, something. So I'm gonna get all this up going. I got my water boiling, my oven preheating. And um, I got my chicken. I'm gonna use three large chicken breasts today. Um, you can use however much you need to feed your family. Um, it's just me, Sid, and Zane today. Sid's on his way home from work. Zane will make an appearance anytime when he comes in here for another Capri Sun. Um, so I'm just get all this going. It's a lot going on, but it's a really simple, easy dish. It's a lot of parts, but it's really easy to put together. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today, and um, I'll get you back as soon as everything's ready to start breading our chicken. All right, thanks. Okay, so I'm putting my breading station together, and I, like I said, remember, really, really rip, uh, whip up your eggs. You don't want any of uh, that runny white goo. You want to make sure everything's very well mixed together. I have my flour. I have my Italian breadcrumbs. Like I said, I'm going to add some extra seasonings to these. I got some onion powder. We're going to jazz up this flour. We're going to jazz up the eggs. And then we're going to jazz up the breadcrumbs. So we're going to do that with all three. We're going to come in with some, I need one of those big fancy pepper crackers. Come into each one with some black pepper. I know you guys can't see, Sid needs to get me a better camera. We're working on it. All right. All right, so we've got some black pepper going on here. I'm going to add just a little bit of oregano to our breadcrumbs. I know there's a lot in the Italian seasoning, but you can't ever have too much in this scenario. We're gonna use some garlic powder in all three. All right. So, I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Now, normally I would get, I thought I had a wedge of Parmesan and I would freshly grate it. So, we're just going with what we have because I ain't going back to the store. So, I'm just gonna use this go-to special, what we buy and use on our spaghetti, some, some shredded, 100% supposedly. Anyway, I'm gonna put some of Parmesan in my breadcrumbs as well. It's kind of a little spicy kick. So here I have almost out grocery list to remind you guys. So I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning also to a little into all three. All right, so I'm gonna get our chicken, um, wash it and get it on a plate and show you how, how we're gonna move forward next. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so I'm over here at the stove. Let me open this window so we can have some more light. Um, I'm over here at the stove. I'm going to take this jar of sauce. I'm going to pour it in a saucepan and let it maybe, okay. 
We're gonna put it in a saucepan, we're gonna jazz it up, and uh, we're gonna let that simmer for a little while while we're putting our, uh, breading our chicken. And uh, I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet so the chicken goes straight from frying it into the oven, all one pan. Well, we're using a lot of other pans, but I mean, when we start cooking the chicken, it'll stay in the skillet. Be right back. So my little trick to getting the rest of the spaghetti sauce, add a splash of water, shake the jar, and you get the rest of the spaghetti sauce. You get a lot more of it out without having to get all dirty and digging in the jar. Just a little tip. So I got some garlic. I'm gonna add some uh, Italian seasonings. I know that they season this uh, when you, of course, when you when they jar it or when they make it, but we want something extra just to make it a little more like homemade. You know, it's not homemade, of course, but we can pretend. We'll fake it till we make it. So I'm just gonna get a couple cloves of garlic here. I'm gonna, you know, roughly chop them, let them cook down in the spaghetti sauce. I'm going to also um, add some salt, pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Just, you know, some extra little things that will make it taste more like homemade. So let's get the pan, we want it about medium low. We just wanna get it to bubble, not splatter all over our kitchen. We're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Probably got a ton of sodium anyway. We might as well just go with the party. We're gonna add some fresh black pepper. Okay, got that done. I'm gonna add a little onion and garlic powder, of course, and maybe finish off my Italian seasoning. You never can tell. Just, it's one of those things you just kind of have to feel like what you want in it, and then. You know, just make it as close to those kind of flavors. If you like strong garlic flavor, if you like, you know, something super, you like oregano, or you like basil. I like to use a lot of those fresh ingredients. But today, we're just going with, let's clean the pantry out a little bit and, you know, use what we have. Just happened to catch, watching Chopped, somebody made chicken parmesan. And I was like, wait a minute, I have like everything in my kitchen already that I would need pull that off so just going to chop up my garlic here and I'm going to get all of this into the saucepan these are kind of small so I'm using several so I'm gonna get this all chopped up throw it in the, in the saucepan um, I would usually put some onions in there some fresh chopped onions we all know the drill so it doesn't like onions so I'm just gonna get all of this chopped up get it thrown in the sauce um, my water's boiling my oven's preheating as I said earlier um, I'm gonna rinse off my chicken here and we'll get breading and uh, I'll bring you back when we're there Okay, so our water's boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in um, my fettuccine. I'm not gonna make a lot because Sid doesn't eat, use it, but me and Zane will. So I'm gonna make, not even, uh, maybe a handful broken in half, put it in the boiling water. We need to clean our chicken. So I got some boneless skinless chicken breasts. Of course, they want to sell, get a big family pack. I break them up and freeze them, but they come with this like extra stuff. This one has the rib meat on, which makes this chicken really thick and takes a little longer to cook, but gives you a hearty portion, so. You know, so I'm gonna spend some time just like cleaning these up really nicely. I'm debating still whether I want to cut this rib meat off, but we'll we'll see and get there. I mean, it's not exact science. You do what you feel is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and uh, get our get our pasta in the water, and I'll be back with you in just a few. Okay, so I started cleaning my chicken. I decided we're going to go ahead and leave it on. So I took the chicken and I took my paring knife and I cut it long ways, not all the way through the end, but so that you have the back side. So we can have a little pocket here. We're gonna stuff this. So I'm gonna just continue to do the other two pieces. I'll show you. So I'm gonna cut off any of this like fat or extra gross stuff that's on this chicken. Call it what you want, I call it gross. Okay, so we're gonna just clean this up. I like to get this little thin membrane. I pull that all off as well. I just don't like it. It's up to you. I think it's time to sharpen my knife. All right. I think I say that every time I make a video. It tells you how much I've sharpened my knife. Okay, so I'm going to take the rib side and I'm going to go from the on the, the whole breast side. Go about halfway down and just use my paring knife and just, just start with this, a real small slip and then you can start pulling it up and cutting into the inside. 
and you just keep going and slowly work your way through the chicken. Try not to go through the bottom. You want to make sure you're making a solid little pocket here because we have to be able to fry these. We don't want everything to be leaking out of the back end of this. So we're just making a nice little pocket here. So we have another one. Nice little pocket. Should look like a heart. We're just going to do the other one and then we'll get ready to step home. Okay, so this is what I got. I took a piece of Canadian bacon. I cut it in half. I have these slices of mozzarella cheese. I got them to make something with garlic bread one day. But um, they're going to work really good for this. So I take the half, put it in here. I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to take it and put it inside my chicken. I'm going to fold the corners just to make sure that it's, when we close it, we got a good seal. Because we don't want the cheese dollar now. So take two in each, stuff them into the chickens, to the chicken breast, and fold in any corners that are sticking out, and then just kind of press it back together. So now we have our stuffed chicken. So we're going to bread this so so I don't cross contaminate everything. I'm going to go wash my hands, and then we'll start breading this chicken and get it in, on, in this gut. Be right back. Okay, so we have our breading station ready. Remember we've seasoned all the layers. I've washed this, so we don't have any chicken contamination going on here. Got our flour, it's all nice and seasoned. It's pepper, garlic powder, garlic, onion powder, Italian seasoning. Our eggs, very well beaten. All combined, broke those whites down very well. And we have our Italian breadcrumbs and we jazz those up a little bit. Our sauce is done um, simmering. I took it off and I put my cast iron there. I'm going to fill it with about, I would say about a quarter inch of uh, olive oil through all over the pan so that we can brown up these and then we can cover them with sauce and put them in the oven. So I'm um, just going to bread these just like I would if they weren't stuffed. Press them down. Make sure you get them well coated on all sides. And the flour helps the egg to stick. So you want to make sure it gets a good portion of egg on all sides. This side looks a little sparse. We're going to do that one more time. Just make sure we keep tucking our cheese in there if it gets tries to get out. So we're going to put it in our breadcrumbs. We're going to have to kind of help it out a little bit. Because it's kind of, my pan's a little small for these big giant chicken breasts. So we, we are by no means going to intend for these to be cooked through in the frying pan. We're going to cook them through in the oven. So, so our oven's preheating right now to 375. It's going to take about 20 minutes in the oven to make these all good and cooked through. You might watch them depending on how thick your chicken breasts are. Could take a little longer, could take a little less. You just want to keep an eye on them. So I'm, I'm just going to get the rest of these, bread it up. Oh, one more. And then uh, we'll be over to the stove. Sid's home, by the way. Say hi, Sid. Hello, fire. <laughs> Just got off a 10-hour work, work overtime day. Climbing mountains over there. He's feeling his age today. We're making a mess over here, by the way. It's okay. We'll have Sid clean it up. I could. He can clean. Probably won't work, but we could try. Just making sure this is good and well covered. Just like I am. Well covered with flour now. In our egg. I just used two eggs. Um, and it seems to be just exactly enough. I'm not going to have a bunch of leftover egg. I'm able to get these coated up real well. Uh oh, we got issues with our water water. Okay, so I was trying to help my pasta get start going again and put the lid on it and it went a little crazy. So I'm going to clean up here and um, I, obviously I just filled my um, my egg pan immediately with water because once that dries it's a monster to get off. So I'm going to get my pasta and drain it and then um, we're going to get ready to start frying some chicken. Okay, so we're making a mess over here but you know we'll clean it up later. Alright, so I've got my olive oil. I'm not going to use my little, you know, my cute little all of them take me forever to get enough oil out of there. So I'm going to cover this. We're going to turn it on. I'm going to turn it on about medium high. Get a good quarter inch layer of olive oil in the bottom of this pan. And let that heat up. Okay, here's our chicken. It's all breaded, ready to go in the oil. This oil um, heat up a little bit. How I test it for when it's hot enough, take a little bit of my breadcrumbs, and if I throw them in there and it starts bubbling around them, I know my oil's ready. But it's always to go, so I'll be back when our when our um, 
oil is hot. Okay, so um, we've got our olive oil nice and heated. Now you don't want to go too high. The smoke point of olive oil is fairly low, so you will smoke up your whole kitchen if you get it too hot. So we're going to go ahead and put our chicken in. Always um, just make sure our cheese is tucked in there and always put it in the pan away from you. You don't want anything to splash back up on you. So we're just going to carefully try to hold these together the best we can and get them in the oil. And we want just to get them nice and golden brown on the outside. So we're going to let this brown up on the bottom and we'll turn it over brown up on the top. Now let's just see what they look like when they're there. I want to say three to four minutes on each side. Give or take. Just keep an eye on it. Okay, so we've cooked these for about, I, I, it's been about three minutes. So you want to make sure you're going to grab it from the right angle where you hold it together when you flip it over. See, it's nice and golden brown. Let me bring it over here. Get a little better view. See how nice and golden brown that is? So we're just going to get the rest of these turned over. You're going to try your best to keep your tongs to hold all the cheese in. Flip it over and we're going to get it just nice and golden brown on the bottom. We'll be ready to go to the oven. Okay, so while well, these are browning on the top, um, I'm going to take them out of this pan for just a few minutes and put them in this dish, which I have washed again. We're going to put them back in here so that we can get a little bit of, of that extra olive oil out of the pan so we don't have a really greasy dish later. But I've also taken about a half cup of my pasta water and put it into my sauce that we doctored up. Um, that just adds another layer of, you know, it's just another layer of flavoring that we, we have it, we made it, we, we might as well use it. Okay, so I put that into the, into the spaghetti sauce that we doctored up earlier. I'm letting these brown. We're going to take them out. I'm just going to use some paper towels so I don't take all the yummy bits off the bottom of the pan and I'm going to just let it soak up into the paper towel. Um, I might give you a quick view of what I'm doing, but I'm not trying to get all the flavor out of the pan. I just want to get a little extra, a little bit of the extra oil out of the pan. Okay. Mmm. Red licorice. Sorry. Okay, so I just take a you know, few paper towels and make a just put them in here. I let it soak up some of the extra oil. You don't want to get all of it out, but you just don't want it. I don't want it to be soupy with uh, oily. So, but I want to leave all the little bits from when we fried the chicken because they taste really yummy. So, I got that. We're going to take our nice brown. Look at those. Isn't that delicious? Look at that. All right, so we're going to put this back into the skillet. It's still a little bit hot. It's going to sizzle just a bit. I'm going to take our Dr. Dip sauce. It is still a little too thick. So we're just going to cover our chicken. And then after I get this in there, I'm going to move it around a little bit so some of the sauce gets underneath the chicken. Uh, again, our pan is really hot. The heat is off, by the way. And I'm just going to cover this. I'm going to put a little sauce over here. Help cool down the pan a little bit. And I'm going to reserve a good couple ladles of this sauce for at the end to, put up, to add a little extra to the pasta. But you want to just make sure you get a good bath of pasta sauce in here. Everything nice and happy. We're going to save this little bit over here. Now I just have some shredded mozzarella, again, from my pizza base. So we're going to get a good handful and sprinkle it over each one. Some of that sauce get underneath there. I should have probably put some underneath them before I did it, but afterthought. Just gonna wiggle them around a little bit, let that sauce run underneath them. Cheese is already melting. It smells marvelous. So a little extra. Can never have too much cheese. And now wouldn't be chicken parmesan without the parmesan. Sorry about the bottom jars. We should be grating this, but hey, we, you're going to use what we have. 
I'm going to give a real generous amount. So like I said, my oven's preheated at um, 375 degrees. We're going to get this into the oven. I can find the pot holders. We're just going to get this into our oven. I set my timer for 20 minutes and then I'm going to check them. If the chicken's not all the way through, just leave it another 5 or 10 and just keep checking all the way through. Um, better safe than sorry. Just make sure your chicken's cooked all the way through. I'll let you look, see what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, let's what look what just came out of the oven. Bubbly, gooey, and delicious. We're gonna get everything plated up and smells marvelous in here. So let me get it on a plate, show you what it looks like. We're ready to eat. Okay, I've just sauteed my uh, pasta in a little bit of olive oil and garlic. Tastes it smells wonderful. So we're gonna try our very best to not make too big of a mess. But we're about to make us a plate. Look at that. Mm. Now, just going to make a big mess here. Alright. I'm going to use my little, get some of this yummy sauce. The pan. Oops. Pour it around here a little bit. Put a little bit of extra nuts on here. It's nice and hot, so it's going to melt. And of course, we're going to get another sprinkling of Parmesan. And here we go. Parmesan, chicken Parmesan. It looks delicious. I don't need to, it's so pretty, I almost don't want to cut into it. I'll cut one open here in just a second to give you a peek at what it looks like. All right, so let's go over here. So obviously it's too dark. And so here's here's what it looks like inside. All gooey and delicious. Cheese all running out. Yum. It's great. You're going to love it.